Hi, in this video we're going to show you how to record your Spotify music and save it on your computer as an MP3 or WAV file. Uh, so this could be used with a free account because on the free account you can't download your music to listen to it offline. So there's a tool you could use called Spotify. So it's a free download. You just extract the zip file and you run the executable. So the first time you run it, you might get a warning from Windows saying, we don't know who the publisher is. Do you want to continue? So you just say yes. And of course, just be cautious with anything you uh, download from the internet, but this seems to be okay. Okay, so I have my test Spotify account here. So I made a playlist with five songs here. So let's open the uh, Spotify app here. So we'll get to this in a sec second here. So for the settings, you have your output path, so you could change your destination where you want the recordings to go, uh, audio device, uh, audio quality, even if you change it to 320 and you're using the free account, it's still going to record at 160, so just keep that in mind. Audio format, MP3 or WAV, and then this ID3 API. I'm not sure why you can't change it to Spotify, but that's the only option you get. And then this ad section, that's on by default, so it knows not to record the ad. So once one song is done, it'll convert it to an MP3 or WAV file and then start on the next one. Then you have some advanced settings which are all off by default. If you want to minimize the system tray, set your total recording time. You have some options for creating album track numbers, ID3 tags, and so on. You could go through those and check them out for yourself there. And so I have this uh, recording that I already did from my playlist, so I just went through and played them and had to record everything. And now if I go to the music folder here, you can see it made an MP3 file with a each one of these songs, and it even put the album art there as well. So how it works, you want to go to your Spotify first. So since I already have these recorded, if I try and record them again, it's going to say it can't, so I'd have to pick a new song here. So let's just say we pick this one here. So what you want to do first, actually, you don't want to play it first. You want to restart spying first, otherwise it's going to start recording in the middle of the song. So click on Start. So see how it says Spying. And then we just uh, pick a song here. And now you can see it's a uh, recording. I have the volume off just so you could hear me uh, speaking on the video here, but you can see how it's recording. So once the next song, if you're playing more than one song, um, starts, this one will do the conversion to the MP3 and then start recording the next song and so on. So you could just kind of go through it like that. And if you click on stop, it's going to want to wait till the song's finished. So I'm just going to pause it here and then it should stop it here. So see, it only did part of it since I stop the playing on Spotify, um, and then stop the uh, recording here. So just keep that in mind. It's, so it has to play the song to record it all. You can't just, it's not like it's converting them from Spotify and then downloading them. It's actually recording them in real time. So just keep that in mind. Okay, so I will put a link in the description where you could download this uh, Spotify tool, and then you could uh, record your own music from Spotify. All right, thanks for watching, and be sure to subscribe.